Thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. Uh, before we even begin, I'd like to thank you guys for all of the support. I think from now on, every video, I'm just going to be thanking you guys for all of the support because you guys are showing a lot of support. So again, thank you for that. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a part two on ways to make money from, you know, quail in your homestead. If you have an urban homestead or, you know, if you just have quail set up in a rural area, whatever. Uh, there are a few ways to make money from your quail and if you haven't seen the first video you can check that out I'll post the link up below uh, well up below excuse me if you haven't seen the first video I'll post that link up above right there sorry for that and you know if you want to watch that first you can come back to this one and then continue from there. Uh, in this video, we're gonna go over a couple of ways that I didn't discuss in the last video, of course. Uh, one of those ways is actually selling live quail. Uh, I didn't even think about that. A lot of folks will buy your quail live, uh, whether that be for pets or if they wanna process them themselves for meat. Uh, I don't know, some people like to buy pears, mating pears, so they can get their own flock started. Uh, so selling live birds is a good way to go. Now depending, just like with a lot of other things, depending on where you live and what the season is, you will, you know, experience a different price range. Uh, how much did I sell quail for? I think we had a flock swap. And we had a flock swap recently over in Ellicottville. And I believe I was selling those birds for about $5 a piece uh, at a flock swap. So depending again where you are and what time of year it is, you may get different prices for your birds, but selling birds live is always an option. As a matter of fact, I did kind of touch on that yesterday because we talked about selling them for hunting purposes, uh, but you know, I didn't even think about the whole getting, uh, getting folks started with breeding pairs and whatnot. Uh, on top of that, of course, on top of that, there will be a couple of other ways. Uh, one of the less desirable ways, let's talk about this really quick, uh, something called Balut, uh, B-A-L-U-T. It is uh, a partially developed egg that is open before you know the chick fully develops and it's eaten as a delicacy. And not my cup of tea, I haven't tried it, so I can't knock it. But at the same time, there's definitely a market for this stuff. And if you can find the market, you can sell a lot of eggs because I mean, these things are of course really small and when sold as an appetizer from what I'm, from what I'm to understand, people tend to eat anywhere from six to a dozen of them at a time. So you can find a market for that. Ooh, excuse the face right now. I smell a skunk hope I didn't run it over Ugh. so yeah balut is one of the other ways that you can make money with quail a lot of people will refuse to sell their quail eggs for this purpose uh, I mean I can't say that I've even been asked to you know provide that but if I was I probably wouldn't have a problem with it uh, let's see what else can we do uh, now hatching eggs we talked we talked last time about selling eggs for eating purposes mostly uh, hatching eggs are a big thing this is how I actually got started I purchased eggs from eBay I got two dozen actually 25 eggs from eBay and I had a pretty good hatch rate from that and you can sell eggs locally of course for hatching purposes friends neighbors uh, even your family members if they're just getting into it and when you sell eggs for hatching you want to make sure that you of course prepare them properly and you want to make sure that you clean them everything so that you know your folks have a good hatch rate and you can continue to do business you don't want to be known for supplying trash eggs that's not what uh, it's not what you want to do so 
you can always sell eggs for hatching purposes. So what do we have so far? We have live quail, we have balut, we have selling eggs for hatching purposes. Uh, aside from that, someone did bring it to my attention that, hey, a lot of crafters, and crafters are everywhere, crafters just may want your feathers if you have enough of them. Now again, for a, a lot of us who are just hobbyists or don't have a lot of quail, or you know any sort of poultry for that matter this isn't really that big of an option or that much of an option because of the fact that you're gonna have to sell a lot of feathers for you know crafters to really be interested because they're gonna be doing things like making jewelry and maybe even stuffing pillows things of that nature so if you're selling you know quail feathers to someone who's stuffing pillows you better have a lot of quail and Aside from that, you will have folks who, you know, like me, make earrings, other smaller crafts that you're not going to need anywhere near as many feathers for. But feathers, they are another way to go. So, yeah, another way that you can go, especially with crafting. Uh, if you are going to go as far as to save and prepare the bones and clean them up, you can actually sell those too there's definitely a market with crafters for bird skulls bird bones you know there's all sorts of things that can be made with these uh these items and that actually isn't going to be limited to crafters you you know will be amazed at who might want some bird bones from you uh all in all again there are a lot of ways that you can make money from your quail and this again is not the definitive guide. I'm gonna end up probably doing a part three on this one as the suggestions and comments roll in. So I wanna thank you guys again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. If you have any ways that you could think of or know of that you can make money or that we can make money with our quail or flocks of any variety, please feel free to leave that in the comments below. Also, leave a comment in the comments below. Leave a like for the video also, and please subscribe to the channel for more. Also, as always, hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever anything new happens on the channel. Because we do do a lot of new things on the channel all the time. I've uh, been coming out with videos every day for the last couple of days. So, uh, again, hit that notification bell so you're notified in real time. Again, I want to thank you guys for all of the support. And again, thank you for coming to check us out here at New York Eternix. Thank you.